Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look on the RX 7900XX Red Devil Limited Edition. If we are starting with the specifications, the RX 7900XX Red Devil is factory overclock from 2500 to 2563 MHz. So it's not quite of a big jump, but it's still a good jump over the factory overclock. And it has a total of 24GB VRAM running at 20GB per second. If we take a look on the cooler solution, it has a big massive heatsink, just like the 4080 and 4090 competitors. You have uh, three big fans, I think it's 80 or 90 mil. And it has a dual bias, which is silence and OC. And unlike the reference model, this uh, version has three 8-pin power connectors. And last, this card has four outputs, one HDMI, 2.8, and three uh, DisplayPort 2.1. If you want to see a full unboxing of this graphic card, you can just see my last video. And now, let's take a look at the gaming performance. In right of the Tomb Raider, while running at max settings without ray tracing, the card is running at over 200 FPS at 4040p and 133 at 4K resolution. That is really, really good. Next up is Metro Exodus. At 4040p, we are seeing over 150 FPS, and while in 4K, we go as low as 108 FPS. Despite the age of the game, is still really demanding in 4K. And now to the Returnal. The card can handle this game just fine at max settings, 156 FPS in 4040p and 95 FPS average in 4K. But if we enable ray tracing, you will see a big loss in FPS from 150 to 94 FPS in 4040p and as low as 56 FPS in 4K. We can save this however, if we turn FSR on, quality mode, and now we are gaining back what we lost. 132 FPS in 4040p and 91 FPS in 4K. And last is Far Cry 6. We are running at the ultra settings and in 4040p we are getting 163 FPS and 123 FPS in 4K. If we turn ray tracing on again, we are getting 130 FPS in 440p and 103 FPS in 4K. Not as big as a loss like in Returnal, and yet we can again use FSR in this game as well to boost the frame rate. And what about overclocking? Can we gain anything from it? Well, yes, but let's take a look at the stock frequency first. We are seeing a boost clock of around 2500 MHz in times by Extreme DT1, which is running at 4K, and a maximum temp at 66 on the core and 86 on the hotspot. This card will boost higher in 4040p and lighter workloads. If we now take a look at the overclocking, I managed to overclock slash on the volt the card to get around 2850 MHz in 4K which is a massive 350 MHz difference and the memory is running at 21 gigabit per second and it shows a max fan speed of 65% this is why the car uh, this way uh, the car does not get that much noise, noisy and the temps will still be around 68C on the GPU but how does this translate into actually gaming performance? in DT1 at stock settings we get 95 FPS and with the overclock we are getting 107 FPS. That is a massive 11% increase in performance. If we instead take a look at a, at a game returnal in 4K, we will see the same performance increases. We got 95 FPS at stock settings, and with the overclock we are, we are running at, at over 106 FPS now. And this was the RX 7900 XTX. It's actually a really, really strong card. It's, it's between the RTX 4080 and 4090 in the gaming performance. It's not that strong in ray tracing, but you can still game in. You can still game with RT on if you turn on FSR and stuff like that. The same you need to do with the 4080 anyway. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.